What's up guys? Welcome back to Terraria. Last time we defeated Plantera and the first thing I want to do in this episode is actually check the bestiary. Ignore the inventory for now, we're gonna craft a bunch of stuff really soon. Um, but first of all, we're gonna filter a boss enemy and then we're gonna, we're gonna check here. A dormant yet powerful floral guardian awoken by the fallout of Cthulhu's destroyed machinations. Its reach spans the entire jungle. At least until it despawns, because you like, like you're one inch away from it. But okay, no salt, no salt so early on. Plantera seedling, so there is the pet, of course. We didn't get that, unfortunately. I think I kind of want to, I want to rebattle Plantera if possible, and hopefully like re re win against Plantera in this uh, episode. But okay, now things are gonna be a bit complicated. I finally like took the time to uh, get some uh, kind of hard to get stuff. First of all, tiger climbing gear with the climbing claws and the shoe spikes. And then with these, we can craft the master ninja gear with the tabby or tabby or whatever, and the black belt from Bone Lee, both of them. We can craft something which is actually kind of OP. Like, I don't remember if I ever got this one before. But like, compare it to the Shield of Cthulhu. Shield of Cthulhu, since like almost the beginning of the episode, it's always with you. But like this, it allows the ability to dash and it gives a chance to dodge attacks. So together with Hallowed and the Brain of Confusion and the Ninja Gear, we have like, we have like three different dodges. Which, does it... Oh, dude. Oh, I don't know, this looks kind of cool. I don't, do the, I don't know, this, this current look is kind of ridiculous. This actually kind of works. I'm, I'm tempted, but I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I could also try this one second. Eh, eh, that looks, that looks kind of weird. It doesn't really work. I think, I think I'm gonna keep it invisible for now. Um, and then the next one. So yeah, goodbye, Shield of Cthulhu. I'm sorry. You've been good to me, but you're not good enough anymore. I think we need this, then we can craft the lightning boots with the spectre boots, an anklet of the wind, and an aglet. Finally, we have these things. Then we can also craft the frost spark boots with the ice skates. And then, I think this is already the end. This is like a new, uh, new thing, the terra spark boots, which is like all the boots in the game combined into one. Allows flight, super fast running, extra mobility, increased movement speed, walk on water, honey, and lava, and immunity to fire blocks and lava. So kinda, kinda insane. Spiked Terra Spark Boots, how do they look? Like, first of all. Oh, they do look kinda cool. And if I run? Whoa! Um. Wait, <laughs> wait. Oh wait, is that because of the... Wait, no, no, that's not because of the ninja gear, right? That's, that's just... Oh no, it is! Wait, what is this? The ninja gear is crazy fast! Is that normal? Excuse me? One second. Wow, the ninja gear is insane for speed! Okay, I did not know that it, it, it goes this crazy. We can't, we can't go into these things anymore, but this is so much better. This is so much better. This is incredible, actually. And okay, next up... Um, I'm gonna craft this thing, the fairy bell, with the bell from the wizard, 25 pixie dust, and then souls of light and souls of sight. This is a light pet, I'm pretty sure. And it's... Oh, look, it kinda... It kinda oh, this is cool. It sticks to me. But it's kinda slow, but still, it's pretty cool. Much better than the heart, so now we've got, by the way, the bedazzled nectar. Which is from the uh, traveling merchant, which was super expensive, but it, it... It does look beautiful with the fairy here and then the butterfly. Like a double fairy. Uh, um, thing going on. Then I've also got a tree globe here and a whir world globe. I'm gonna give this another try to see if we actually get something different, something really different. And then I have a hallowed key. I got pretty lucky, so we can open the hallowed chest in the dungeon. And then also I, I caught a prismatic lace wing in the hallow overworld area. And you guys told me like to, to get this thing. Its wings are so delicate, you must be careful not to damage it. I'm gonna be here again, because World Globe, let's just see the background. Okay. So now we've got the wyvern here, now we've got like, I guess the mountains and the hills in the background. And the tree globe? Oh, nice! Okay, so you do definitely see a difference, now we see something really... But it's not like a super big difference, it's a really like subtle difference, which I'm, I'm fine with. Still kind of cool. We also have like all four buffs now, by the way. Even though I don't really use melee anymore. 
but still. Also have a new house for the tax collector here because the cyborg, gimme, give gimme. Give Thank you. The cyborg is kind of in the <laughs> in the in the attic here, which I think is really adorable. But hey, our back. I need to reforge. So everything here, these are like my main ranged weapons: mega shark, shotgun, and piranha gun. Piranha gun, by the way, I think it got a buff. I'm pretty sure because now it shoots three fish, and I didn't realize that last time. Like. It used to, I'm pretty sure, only shoot one. So that's a huge buff for this weapon. But yeah, this is gonna be expensive. Everything is good, except for the new two new. 18 gold, let's just see what we get. Violent? It's not gonna help us. I need, like, guarding is already kind of okay. I'm gonna keep guarding for now. And at least, like, get this... Oh my god. Men Menacing is not that good, but... I don't know. Gu Dude. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste like my entire, my entire, maybe this, this is not that expensive, but I think you're gonna keep it for now. Two, plus two defense together, they are warding, which I think is kinda, is kinda fair. I could actually try to reforge the butterfly wings because 15% damage is also not that amazing. Ooh, yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> warding, that's ideally what I would want everywhere, but okay, that's already pretty good. And now we're gonna go to the dungeon. So I, ooh, hello. Oh, it's an evil necromancer, but look, this is also amazing, the dungeon. This is amazing for the dungeon! Uh, I, I actually dodged it, I'm not sure which dodge that is. Okay, this is getting- this is a mess. This is- I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm a key brand? I mean, that's not really gonna help too much. Apparently the paladin cannot attack when being attacked. There's a bone lee, which is horrible though. I'm okay, this, this might be... Uh, this might be too much. I'm sorry. I don't really have any AoE though. I could try. I, I need to like kill one. And then it's gonna latch onto like three at once. Look at this insa insanity. And then once they kill something, they latch onto the other stuff. So I'm gonna... Just... <laughs> complete destruction, dude. And now once the paladin dies, it's gonna latch onto the bone. This is the true power of the para... Please. Dude. Okay, the ectoplasm is not that fun. Nice, we got it, I think. It's gonna take a bit, but... <gasps> we actually got a, a, a hammer. Oh my god. Another bone lee. I gotta run. Actually, kill this one first. Nice, they worked out. Dude, I don't know what's happening. The dungeon is so scary. Just kill everything, please. Okay, thank you. What is this? Melee? I mean... Oh! Oh, wait, that's weird. Okay, it's like a, it's like a, it's the fastest boomerang on Earth. I guess I can try it out against somebody. Let's use this. Oh, that's my fairy! I thought it... It has piercing, though, which is pretty good. But, I mean, the, 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 the deadly piranha gun is just too good to pass up. Where? This is it. Right there. I, 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 I placed so many torches around it. So we should be able to find it fairly easily. I'm, I'm kind of sticking to the walls, which I don't like. With the tiger climbing gear. But okay, here we are. And we've got the rainbow gun. Shoots a rainbow that does continuous damage. I'm also not too sure if this is gonna be good. I mean, let's, let's like here. Oh, right. That, that, that's... Uh, where are you? I need to kill you. You're like so annoying. I'm, I'm, dude, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't with the ti tiger climbing gear. I can't, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Oh my god, the shotgun. <laughs> Just run. Am I burning? I might be dying. Heal me, please. Thank you very much. Who are you? Caitlyn is back. Hello, Caitlyn. But yeah, rainbow gun. It's beautiful. Oh, and it's continuous, which is really nice. I've got some training dummies here, by the way, and a DPS meter now. But yeah. Maybe I can use it for bosses or, like, invasion or something. I'm gonna go into this little uh, room that I made, which I actually kinda like. I like this little thing for the, the, the arm stealer. And I'm gonna buy once again. I'm gonna buy a ton of musket balls because they are so cheap. And I have a bunch of chlorophyte ore here. I'm actually gonna stick with Hallowed for now. Because I don't want chlorophyte armor anyway. I want, like, the next tier, like, above that. But, um... Okay, so I do need to craft some bars, which are gonna... Let's start with 10. And then how... 
Yeah, there, there they are. Chlorophyte bullets. So one and 70. So that's really good. And then just craft like all we can pretty much. 700 chlorophyte bullets. They they are they have pretty okay damage and they chase after the enemy. So they have homing, which is like the the OP thing about them. I think I'm just gonna craft like a ton. Like let, let's craft 10 more because I want to keep some chlorophyte for the armor eventually. And then like a full thing again. Oh, I don't even have musket balls. Whoops. Okay, more musket balls. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight ranged, of course. I'm gonna have a rematch against Plantera with chlorophyte bullets. And I could try them out real quick. We have the DPS meter. So the mini shark is pretty con nice, consistent damage. The 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 the, the shotgun. I think it maybe has the potential to be more. The piranha gun is just overall super nice though. Maybe this is just the best, like 1000 almost. With Yeah, it's gonna get up to 1000. Maybe that's just gonna be the best. And like, look how mechanical they look. This is kind of crazy, this entire gun, the mechanical piranhas. Maybe, and then I don't even have to aim. I can just focus on dodging. And, 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 and meanwhile, this is here. And then everything at once has like the potential to be like what 1600 yeah 1600 almost 1700 but i'm not sure if it's gonna get more than that okay shut up <laughs> it's a little bit too much activity there but yeah this is gonna be a bit later on we have the buffs um i will though i will get this all of this again I and mean, then real quick gonna get to we're uh, gonna go to the goblin again because i want to try reforging the rainbow gun oh it's expensive but Strong, it's not really that amazing. Adept, mana cost doesn't matter. Go Yo, okay, sure. <laughs> Godly, I mean, damage is super good. Now we've got everything ready here. We got, we also have ranged equipped. Good. And we have like amazing, I think these are the accessories that we're gonna use, right? There's like a few upgrades we can do, of course, but like a lot of these are just the best you can get, which I'm very happy with. We're gonna the jungle. Then we're gonna go the long way down. I already know where a Plantera bulb is. And thankfully, it's actually very close to my arena. So we don't have to mess around too much. Um, And even this, I mean, I'm gonna use this, even though it's a waste of bullets, kind of. Ew, it's just nicer. And like here, like even this, it's just, it, it shreds all of the, all of the people. But okay. Where, where ooh, stop. I, I just need to look. Somewhere here, right there, right down there, okay. We're gonna zoom out. It's a moth. Okay, I'm gonna... Use the piranha gun for you, because I don't want to waste any more bullets. And the piranha gun is super good for the jungle anyway. Butterfly dust, sure, thank you. And down there, I see it. Okay, a rematch against Plantera. And honestly, I think... Get out. Oh, grubby, or sluggy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try out the piranha gun first, because it just seems so good. Use the buffs, and... Oh, Plantera tries to... Uh, kind of wreck me there. Boom, outsmarted. And let's see. I mean, yeah, a little, but this is insane. This is insane. I mean, even this is it, pretty good. It also kind of shreds Plantera. I don't know. I, I think... I think we might as well go with the Piranha Shark, and I think that's the most damage we can get. Okay, th this might be even better. Okay, the, the hornet there is really annoying, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ignore it. Now it gets kind of weird because everywhere the dudes. Maybe I could even like shoot it, shoot it again. It does kind of kill all of the plants, but hey. Oh, we need to heal. Yo, this is so much better. I mean, this is the, this is I think. Oh, actually, we could just run. We could even just run, because we don't need an arena, because we don't need to aim. That's incredible. Oh, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> that is incredible. I think I think it's the piranha gun. We got the seedling! Yes! Oh, that's actually so cute! Okay, um, do we need anything? Do we? I mean, that, that's it, right? The seedling is basically everything you kind of want. So goodbye, jungle. I, I think we, we can put this here. I put it away, I put it in my base, but now we can actually put another trophy here. You know what? Just see you later, everybody. We're gonna zoom in, and we... That was so good! Piranha gun! Piranha gun is apparently better than even the tactical shotgun and the mega shark. Which is insane. <laughs> that... Wow. 
after the buff. Three, like three piranhas almost feels like over the top. But it is very rare, I guess. You need the jungle key. But okay, we're gonna first of all get the Plantera seedling. Sorry, butterfly, but... Dude, it's crazy. It's beautiful, though. It's also kind of beautiful. Okay, I like you. You're gonna be my new friend. Um, and then... Uh, we have the trophy. Okay, maybe I should have... I don't know, where should I hang it? Uh, actually... Maybe, maybe make the arm stealer a little happy. You have, like, a plant <laughs> inside here. It looks nice, actually. It fits. It looks like a painting. And now... Oh, we got another grenade launcher. We got the pygmy staff. I, I, I... And we have the spore sack again. I, I personally don't like it too much. Like, it, it is pretty good, but I don't know. I'm not, not, not too, too big of a fan. Um... The pygmy staff, though. I got rid of my other summon, the optic staff, because I don't like it too much either. But this one... I think we can keep this as our new main thing. I do think it is much better than the optic staff and more reliable as well. So that was very successful. Dude, I think with the, with the piranha gun, we can destroy a lot of the bosses now. I also realized, by the way, I completely forgot about the golden shower and about the rainbow gun, right? I only used- I was so freaking out about the piranha gun, I only used that, and it totally worked out, so that's fine. Um, Tweed. Two gold? Three gold, actually, thank you. And now, real quick, once again, we're gonna reforge the- the pygmy staff. With nasty? I mean, knockback isn't bad, speed? Uh, I mean, it's- it's not very important, so I think we can just keep it like that. And we have both of them here. So, okay, we, we have we have the potions here, by the way, because right now I want to do something. I'm a little afraid. I'm not sure. Can I just, like, I'm gonna go to the Hallow, because I was told that this thing is, I mean, it's consumable. I'm not sure what a consumable means, like, if it, if it just sets it free, or if it summons something. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna be here. And by the way, I guess I can also show this real quick. I hallowed the entire crimson here, so all of this is hallow now, a beautiful hallow area. All the way down here even, this is kinda thing, it, and it goes, it's actually kinda nice, it goes the entire way. Until you get to the, the tree, and then the tree is the perfect cutoff of like evil and uh, like the, the hallowed biome, which I think has a really nice look. And I'm just gonna be here, I don't know, just, just on, on top of here, maybe that's kinda epic. And we're gonna try this. Uh, we're gonna see. I have potions. I've got everything. I have... I, I, I hope I'm gonna use the piranha gun, I guess. Oh, okay. This is the real power, by the way. Just even here. And, and okay, my, my pygmies are kind of helping out, but okay. Let's go. So what if I just do this? Okay. And now I guess I need to... Do this? Like... The, the critter, the critter thing. But it's not gonna be attacked because it... <laughs> Yo, hello! Embers of the light! Wow, stop! Help, help! <laughs> Wait, help? What are you doing? What are, is this an attack? Is it an attack? Is it an attack? Oh, I'm dead! What? Everlasting Rainbow! Okay. <laughs> what is that? Is that an Everlasting Rainbow? That's beautiful, dude. Okay. Calm down. That was fast. That was an insta-kill. That was- that was pretty tough. Ouch. Oh, Prismatic Light Swing! Okay. Should we try? Immediately? I'm gonna use the buffs, let's get rid of all the enemies. Which is super easy with the piranha gun, but okay. Let's try it. Can I attack you? Dude! Wow! Oh, that is beautiful. This, I don't know- Oh, dude, it's so beautiful! Is this- is this new? But I can't attack you. There we go, now. Holy crap, dude! Whoa! That was a lot of damage. No, what? Um, you're crazy. Am I even- I don't even know if I'm hitting you, I'm just gonna do this. No, wrong one! Oh my god! Wow, look, everything is going crazy here. 
I, I was I was wrecked. Okay, I don't know. This is insane. But how beautiful though! And I like that you can apparently easily uh, re-battle. I kind of want to go again. Honestly, I want to like if, if I can find another like lace wing, I want to go again immediately. Let's get the buffs, <laughs> which don't really help because of how much damage this crazy empress deals. Bloop and bloop. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna like one, maybe one more time. There's a cookie, a chocolate chip cookie, fresh from the oven. Thank you, whoever gave me that. So I'm not sure about the piranha gun there because it seems like. The boss gets prismatic lace wing. Wait, where is it? Hmm. Update. Wow. So yeah, obviously it's very. Uh, um. What? Okay, there we go. That was weird. And just run, just run, run away from this crazy thing. Fifty gastropod. Thank you. I guess you just want to fight against in the air. Oh, this is kind of cool, though. It's kind of like an epic battle. Both flying. Yo, I like this. I like this idea. Let's, let's try this. Just fly versus the Empress of Light. Oh, the wow! Whoa, what is this? Yeah, sure. Oh, I need to heal. Oh, this one is scary. This one is scarier, even though it's it seems easy unless there's something at Whoa! The white no, it's not your fight, dude. Please! Oh the wyvern is gonna wreck me. Stop, dude! I, I swear, Wyvern, if you dude. Oh, okay. Oh my god, dude, this is panic mode. Oh, this is panic mode. But I guess it's. Wah! Oh, she, wait. She can't. The Empress can't attack me? Herself? She has to use the attacks? Like the. The projectiles? Or how does this work? Whoa! No! Ah! Prismatic bolt, dude. That is fun, though. That is fast paced. The music is all over the place. Wow. Oh, a star. Like a star thing. That was interesting. <laughs> wow! I don't- Oh, another one! I don't know if, if it's time, though. I don't know if it's time to fight against this crazy person. For now, because this should be easier. I think what we're gonna do is- is uh, Usually in Terraria, what we do is like one of the easiest things, surprisingly. But we're gonna see how it is in Master Mode. But we're gonna go to the dungeon. and uh, Not the dungeon, but the, I guess the jungle dungeon. The jungle temple. Which is... Actually, I see it already. Can I- uh, can I get here? I just have to dig through here. I guess I'm gonna do that real quick. No, I don't. I don't want. I don't want the tree. Ah, there we go. I'm just gonna dig here real quick and try to get to. Actually, that was okay. Wow, dude, the superior Drax and even here and there's some chlorophyte. Don't mind if I do. This is so good. Let's get it just on the way there and here we are. And that's the entrance. So we got a, a kind of a bit of trash here, which I'm gonna go away, get, get, give away. I have the temple key here. Temple Raider. Why do I have it now? Like, I, I've been in the temple before. It's so weird that I got the achievement now of all of all times. But okay, we're gonna get... Oh my god, we're gonna get the food. And I guess we only really need the piranha gun, I think, to, uh, to survive here. I mean, yeah, we're, we're wrecking. We're wrecking the enemies. Oh, that was a statue! Thank God, I just dashed into it. Dude, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be Rana, and it's gonna kill everything. If no one has a chance, it's, it, it, dude, it, dude, dead. <laughs> In just a few seconds. Yeah, I have to watch out for traps, though. This is usually full of traps. There's a one trap. There's a chest with a power cell, which is very important, and a furnace, a solar tablet as well. It's pretty good. Get all of these things. And okay, I'm gonna get rid of all of the pressure plates. There's another one. Is it a bathtub or something? Another one? There's gonna be a bunch of them here. Actually, maybe I do want this. Actually, I don't know what I wanna use. 
I guess the torches are good enough for light source. And they're dead. Okay, even even with the even with the piranagan, even the jungle temple is like no problem. Usually this one is kind of difficult, but oh what? Did we get a power cell or just uh, a fragment? Okay, still okay. Oh no. Where was it? This one. And another power cell. Okay. Let's kill this thing. Easy. <laughs> I, I like how they try to get to me. But no chance. What is this? An emerald. Okay, I thought there was uh, another pressure plate, but no. There's nothing here. Some spikes. I don't care about spikes. Okay, and not a single power s uh, not a single pressure plate. Another power cell. Let's kill this thing and... Okay, it's not gonna go down there. I'm not entirely sure though how uh, the, uh, the piranhas work. I mean, once they work, it's disgustingly good. As you can see. Oh! Oh no! Oh, bouncy balls. It's Pantera all over again. I don't want that. I got this one already, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. One second, one second. Here we go. Kill this thing, the flying snake, and then one more. Boom. Look how over the top. So many, uh, so many uh, traps. <gasps> nice. Okay, got it. I think the lizards also drop power cells, like a, a random drop, I think. If I remember right how this works, a little snail, hello friend. And I think we still have a we still have a long way to go. Uh, not, not too much, only like one or two more floors. So this thing, this thing. Oh my god, what? Oh, there's another one. Right there. Okay, thank God for the all the immunities. It is a little bit stressful. Okay, another one, another power cell, which is super nice. Two pressure plates right here. Okay, there's a chest. I already got this chest, obviously. I was here before. I kind of tried to dig around the temple a little bit. I don't see anything here. There's like a skeleton. Okay, one piranha at least. Yeah. Latched onto an enemy and we got it. Okay, goodbye. No, there is one! Damn. Strong yellets. We don't need that. Do we even have... We still have a bunch of inventory space. We do need to wait until they kind of despawn. If they despawn, maybe I can just... Nice! Was that another? Dude, I, I cannot be- I cannot be stopped. My immunities are crazy strong. There's one. What? There was two! Okay, now I actually need to heal. Where? Is my Plantera? Oh no, it's there. Oh my god. I'm stressing out. Oh, the spikes are actually pretty damaging as well. I didn't know that. How do I get through here? I guess I can destroy the spikes. Okay. Almost done. Another, another one. And that's already it. Okay, that's the final room. So that was successful. A few fails, but nothing too bad. Now I have to be careful. One, two. A fairy. And only three? Okay, only three th traps in the main room. Now let's kill all the last ones. And is it big? It is fairly big. I'm happy with this room. I'm gonna I'm gonna place some platforms, place the heart lantern and everything. There's a boulder down there, hello. And kill this thing. But yeah, this is this is pretty solid. Oh my god. Let's let's check it out here. I I, I, th I think I think this should be a fairly easy golem fight with this with this large room. Okay, this is gonna be satisfying. I don't even have to do anything. Actually I gotta Prioritize these people first. 
And that's it. I can even put a banner down here, which is really good. In case I get some more random spawns. It's a little bit tricky to uh, to aim the initial piranhas. But once they latch, <laughs> they just immediately kill everything. Hey, yeah. Calm down. And if you hit all three, it's a dream come true. Um, I think this is fine for these two things. The campfire can honestly be anywhere. It doesn't matter, like, right here. Um, and then we're gonna have uh, bubble and honey on the platform, so I'm gonna start building. I have the potion as well, so I don't have to waste any more time. I can immediately, uh, um, go fight as soon as this is done. So let's begin. And honestly, I think that might be it. Do you want a... do you really want a bigger... like, I mean, like, more platforms for the golem? I think we're gonna be up here most of the time, so I'm gonna put the... Put the honey right here. Exactly 10 every time, oh my god. Another tap... okay, dude, we can... we can summon so many solar eclipses if we want to. But yeah, now we need this, because now we can, like, stand on top of the honey, which is a little bit annoying, but with the... with the bubbles... That's no problem. I might also... Um, block this off a little bit. Maybe even, I, I could put a door here. I don't think I've ever done this. Or maybe like this. And then just be like, so that no random spawns come into the arena. And then I think we're pretty much done. I'm also gonna zoom out, not fully, but like, so we can see the entire arena, which I think this is fine. And okay. That's actually it. We have six attempts, and ideally six defeats, which is gonna give us some real, really good, um, uh, equipment. Are they already chilling here? No, they're not even spawning. But okay, we're gonna go. We gotta kill this first. Come on, show yourself, please. <laughs> we can also- oh. I think- I think using the rainbow gun here could be really effective if we put it, like, here. Or- or, like, in the- in the right angle, maybe like this. I'm just gonna leave it here, like, in advance. And see see how this is gonna go. Also, don't forget about the golden shower. But let's go. Oh, you're here! Can, can you go down? Thank you, that's really important. Okay, we gotta kill the lizard. It's dead, and now we just... I want all piranhas to, sh to hit. Actually, maybe I don't want any... Uh, Maybe I don't want any platforms, because the dude is, like, jumping on them. But I mean, staying here is fine. Dude! A little bit of this, and then... All of them hit. You do want to focus the... Oh, wow, we got- we dodged it! You want to focus the hands, the fists. Nice, we got the fist. Okay, one fist down. And we want to latch onto the other fist. I don't think we've... Uh, we, 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 we took a single hit of damage. Okay, now it's a little bit too high up. Go down, thank you. Okay, now we took some damage, though. And the, the phase two is gonna start soon. Get some honey. Okay, now, now it gets a little bit scary. I'm gonna heal. We just have to... Uh, I'll survive. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky. We did it somehow. That was extremely That was extremely close, but incredible. Okay, so one golden relic is of course always what we're gonna put in our base, the first one always. Um but what we you're young we can, we summon a toy golem to light your way. Power cells not included. Oh, it's a dude! I'm sorry, Fairy Bell, but we have the dude just marching <laughs> after us. Dude. We got the army. We got the jungle army. What's up, guys? The boys. <laughs> Let's go. What the heck? Okay, that's pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, we got even more potions, which is nice. Give me something good, the Pixar, dude! Capable of mini mining lizard bricks, which means we can just go crazy here, but I don't think we need to. So, I mean, we can make a better arena. And, and actually... 
I, I, I think I'm gonna remove this platform so that the, the golem can jump up and kind of wreck me. That was actually my mistake. So yeah, this is 200. This is also an axe, which is nice. Okay, here. Put this here. It's not that much more important, but we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna get it. And you saw like it's super fast. Let's let's just see here. Like even the lizard bricks are just getting destroyed. And it has super good range. It has way more range than the Drax. So goodbye, Drax. Um hello Pixar. Okay, now the people are spawning here, so we kinda have to get rid of them. Did we, did we get something else? We got the sunstone actually! Which means we, we should be able to craft something really good. And the shinies? Okay, whoa. This was... Did we get any weapon? No. We did not get any a weapon because of the pixel, I assume. But we got some incredible other things. We got beetle husks. Okay, that is so nice. We can craft something really good. But for now, I'm gonna... Whoa, oh my god. Actually, I want to get rid of the pixel. Because as you can see, it immediately, for some reason... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna- Whoa! Look <laughs> at that satisfying! Yep. Okay, I kinda messed up though. Now I have- now it's gonna take a while. But yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all this. And then, I don't know, like, should I? Should I go crazy and just fight against the golem five more times? Do we really need that? I think it's okay. We're gonna put this here where it got uh, rid of us. Do we have- we have- we still have- we still have the buff, so uh, nothing is stopping us, honestly. We got all the wood platforms, and we're gonna do the same strategy again. Put this here. Bloop. And... We don't have any buffs, let's go. And yeah, just... Actually, you wanna you wanna focus the, the fist when it shoots at you. There we go. And then it latches onto the fist. It's gonna deal some heavy damage to the fist. And then you wanna focus the other fist, as soon as the first one dies. The more damage, I think, you deal, the faster they get. There we go, and now just... Latch onto it. Nice. Okay, we actually latched one onto the head, which is fine. Two piranhas, even one piranha would be more than enough damage, I think. Gonna zoom out a little bit more. Because I'm gonna be primarily on this top platform. And yeah, I think now that the golem doesn't have any mobility... I think this is gonna be fairly easy. Okay, latch onto... I'll actually use this first, and then perfect. This is gonna wreck the golem. Already shooting the lasers, but that's like the easiest phase still. Okay, so the golem is still... We might die, I might get too cocky again, but even still the golem is a very easy boss fight. Even on master mode. And with our... <laughs> with our... Ah! With our constant enemy... Uh, enemy damage dodging. Dude, like, no chance! It's dead! Like, this is no problem! This is absolutely no problem! So I'm just gonna put one here, I guess. We're gonna- we're gonna make a little, uh, walk of shame for the golem here. And we have- what- where- where is it? Didn't I see- oh no, it was the golem trophy, not the golem, uh, um, uh, thing that you can hang up. A stinger? Range damage, does it? Oh, it uses stingers. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I kind of want to try it. Just just for fun. Do we, we still have potions for two minutes. I think I'm going to keep going. There's no reason not to, right? Just immediately. Mm, yeah, that, that's a nice damage, but not really what I'm looking for. There we go. The, the, the piranhas are just no problem. Like, this entire boss fight with the piranhas is no problem. So yeah. I don't know how many more times I'm gonna fight against this dude. Maybe one or two. But this was super successful. Now it's, it's always a little bit weird when this phase starts. But okay, I think we got it. And then you just wanna move left and right and time it with the lasers. So every time the head shoots a laser, you can run. And you're not gonna get hit. I mean, wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say. We don't have any potions. Like, the- the- and we have another baby here. The biggest flex 
Would be oh wait now we got the trophy. Wait no, do we have another? Is that our first trophy or did I miss the first one? I don't know. But we're just gonna put it here. We're gonna put another. Uh, how is this one called? A relic, right? This, these are the relics. We're just gonna go for another another turn without um any potions as the ultimate flex. But first, oh ghost star, dude. Ghost star. <laughs> Handmade by a dragon. We also have a golem fist. Oh, which is just... Which is incredible. It's like, pr probably even better than the... Than the... How is it called? The paladin's hammer. We have another pixel, which is the same though. No modifier. I want to see these. Oh. What? Oh, because of the... Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say, definitely. I don't know if it's better than the butterfly wings. I mean, that is a question. I, I don't think you can see it. Allows flight and slow fall. I, I, I would need to make sure if it's better. It looks so much cooler, though. We're definitely gonna get this and use this for now. Super cool. Okay, we can also check out this, I guess, the garb. But I'm, I'm gonna leave that for now. Maybe, maybe next episode we're gonna go full ghost star. Great for impersonating devs. Okay, our first. And soul jar. Is this a... It's a little head. It's a skeleton head. <laughs> what? That's adorable. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this, I guess, next time. That's really exciting. But okay, like I said, we were not done yet. Oh, actually a nice hit. But we, we, we can use the healing potion again. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to use it. This is actually a fairly difficult... ...phase if you aren't careful. Okay, now, now we need to use the strategy again. Always dash... ...when the head doesn't shoot. And we got it. Bam. I mean, uh, wow. No problem. Another relic, <laughs> which we're gonna put here. I'm just a little afraid of what's... I, I don't think we have enough space. I might I might need to trash some of the uh, needless stuff. Stinger bolt. I mean, uh, we're, that's also needless, but we're... We can keep it for now. Um, uh, I, I kinda... L l l let's just hope that we have enough space. We do, yeah. We got the possessed hatchet, an annoying pixar. Um, but nothing else. I mean, this is also another like boomerang. Everything melee here that you get in the jungle, I guess, chapter of the game is like a boomerang. I don't know. I don't know. We 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 were getting some nice melee stuff with the paladin hammer and the golem drops. Maybe melee is also an option, but I mean, can you can you say anything against the piranha gun though? Okay, wood might be... Eh, uh, it's pretty fast. It's actually not that much faster than the... The Drax, I think. Which is surprising, but still a pretty a pretty nice thing to have, the Pixar. And then, real quick, is the finale. We can now finally craft the Celestial Stone, which is pretty much an increase to, like, everything you want. But then, together with the Lucky Moon Shell, we can finally craft the Celestial Shell, which is not a material. So yeah, this is the final thing. Werewolf, Merfolk, and whether it's night or day, you always get the increase. So this is super good. This is this is gonna be like here. This might even like this might I think th this is probably better than the Avenger emblem. So uh, now I think we're done. I, th I I'm still not sure fairy wing or butterfly wings or um the Infinity Eight. Which look amazing. I'm not sure, but the, one of those two wings, Terra Spark, the Ninja Gear, the Brain of Confusion, which is like the new best item, the Ankh Shield, the Celestial Shell, and then... Actually, can... Actually, wait, can't you? There is an upgrade. This is a material. I just don't know what you need for. Don't you need something from the Golem or something else? We still need to... We still need to uh, do something with the emblem. But I'm not totally sure. Maybe maybe next episode we can we can do that. But for now, I mean, we look awesome. We have awesome wings now. We've got, like, the gang behind us. Plantera, the golem, and the dude. The pygmy. We're gonna chill here. 
And that was a very successful episode. We completely destroyed, finally, we are the one who destroys. We destroyed the golem. We also got our rematch against Plantera and got the baby Plantera. We saw the Empress of Light, which is gonna be real, real hard, but it's like a beautiful boss fight. I'm, I'm gonna try to maybe farm some more lace wings, but butterflies. And then in the next episode, um, I'm gonna try to like have like, I don't know, three, four or five of them just ready to summon the boss. Maybe give it a few more attempts. But for now, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and until next time, take care. What the heck? Enchanted Nightcrawler, that is interesting. Oh, there's multiple! Oh! Wow, what is this a special night? Incredible.